Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your March reading. Um, so this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personally, I think the moon sign resonates best, but you can watch whatever you want. You can watch all of those. There's a link in the description box below if you don't know what your moon sign is. Um, so this month we're going to look at the general overall sentiment or feeling, the vibes that are kind of going out there, the vibes that you're putting out there, what to expect, challenges you'll face. We'll look at finances. We'll look at your love life, whether you're single or coupled. And then we're also going to look at your personal growth or development, maybe the emotions you're experiencing this month, and your crystal of the month. So, spoiler alert, your crystal of the month is the most massive. You might have already seen it on Instagram or Facebook, but we'll get to that at the end. All right, let's get started. Sagittarius, in general, what's up for your theme in March 2018? And they're saying happiness, yay! But happiness as a result of moving on from things that you cared about deeply or maybe you still care about, um, but you're like finally enthusiastically following your instincts and your intuition and kind of saying, you know what, I'm ready for something new. And so that's really, really good for you. Blessings will come as a result of it. You're going to be happier as a result. They're saying like you've planted the seeds in order to like restore the karmic balance. So whether this is somebody that like hurt you, you know, and now you're finally kind of releasing that resentment and you're starting to move on to something new, karmically everything's going to balance balance out for you, okay? Now, if you were a person who was shitty to somebody else, that's not good news. But the people who watch tarot readings, for the most part, are trying to grow and evolve as human beings and be the best versions of themselves. So I would assume that for most of you, this is a really good thing, right? So the seeds that you're planting, um, they might not pay off right away, okay? The wonderful things that are coming for you as a result of kind of clearing out old shitty energy and stepping into new energy with enthusiasm and love and light and following your guidance, um, those things are going to pay off but not necessarily immediately. But the good thing about this, about having that patience and just kind of waiting for, you know, the karmic scales to tip in your favor slowly but surely, is that they will tip in your favor to a greater capacity than you even thought. So I want to show you something specific about this deck. You see how she comes to the tree that she planted as a seedling to get all of these apples out of here. Okay, and she comes with a basket thinking these little pentacle apples are going to be small, that she can put them all in one basket. Each one is bigger and better and more bright and glowy than she even thought they could be. One won't even fit in a basket, okay? So whatever it was that you were expecting to pay off for you karmically, multiply that by seven. And that's what, what's coming for you down the road. So it might take a little bit of time. And one other thing I wanted to mention, but I almost forgot, is um, it might come into, into your life in a squirrely, kind of mischievous sort of way. Something doesn't seem like it's going to be really good. And then all of a sudden, like super, super lucky. Okay. But, but these things are going to start to pay off for you. So what kind of vibes are you putting out to other people in the month of March? And they're saying... Um, that maybe you're not entirely done yet. But this is a process. You're using the month of March to step out of old energy into new, better energy. So what is the lesson here for you in regards to that sort of theme? And they're saying abundance. I think Capricorn had this too, where it's like a good um, affirmation for yourself is I'm a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. And that right there is proof. You've already planted the seeds for this and everything's about to start paying off. So radiating that joy and enthusiasm for what you know is going to come, even though you can't see it, will be very, very good for you. Um, they're saying, uh, you know, maybe in the past you had spent a good amount of time, you know, caring about people or giving to people you know, beyond what you should have, 
based on what you're getting back from them. Okay. But now that your focus is becoming more clear on, you know, like focusing on the people that add value to your life or to your situation, um, or, you know, to your own self, now things are tipping in your favor. Everything's working out. Yay. So that's just kind of generally the feeling. Um, what's going on with your finances? They're saying um, finances might not be like something's going on that isn't normal in regards to your finances. They're saying changes are occurring, but they will be for the better. You might not necessarily love change. A lot of people don't love change. Um, but they're saying if you can shift your perspective, you, you can actually see the good things as a result of this. So it doesn't necessarily say if it's going to feel good or not, <laughs> but this could play out in multiple ways. This could be a promotion, although maybe scary because you don't know exactly how you're going to like, you know, your new schedule or something like that. This could be maybe you get fired, but as a result, you find a job that was way better suited for you and you get paid more. That sort of a thing. Something's um, not you know, as predictable or normal as you would usually expect in regards to your finances, but um, it's actually a really good thing. So this could be something like uh, maybe you file your taxes and you have to pay in a lot of money, but then it's like, okay, let me shift my perspective here. The fact that I have to pay a shit ton of taxes means that I'm making a shit ton of money, which is really good because that means that I'm growing, that I'm achieving, that you know I'm heading down a path of abundance. It's a different way to reframe the situation. Or conversely, maybe you messed up your taxes, which sucks, like it freaks you out. You're like, oh my God, am I gonna get audited? But then you know somebody catches the error and you get money back that you weren't expecting. It could be anything like that where there's like this little bit of an element of like, ah, resisting change, but it's all for the better. So that's fantastic. What do you need to keep in mind in regards to this to kind of help keep you calm <laughs> as we go through these financial changes? And they're saying, um, this is actually a month where you want to continue to strive and push hard. Now, I want to find out if that's true um, after the 22nd of March when the Mercury retrograde hits. Should you still continue to push hard? No, only up until the 22nd of March, okay? No. Let's look at your love life. If you are a single Sagittarius, they're saying, don't worry about being single. <laughs> they're saying, worry about being really honest and clear in your communications with other people and also trust your intuition this month. It's going to be stronger because of Pisces being in essentially everything. They say what you need to be looking for is something very stable and um, long lasting in regards to relationships this month. If you're feeling like, you know what, I'm not ready for a long term, you know, like cohabitation type of relationship, then probably you want to just take a break from looking for a relationship at all in the month of March because the energy of March it's saying is um, helpful to draw in the kind of person that you would live with and eventually potentially marry, have kids with that kind of a thing, okay? Like a very stable and secure longer term relationship where you end up sharing your money and, and stuff like that. So they're saying like if this is not what you're wanting, it's a good month to kind of take a break and focus on yourself and your own individual personal goals. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out to other people? They're saying that you're very emotionally balanced, yet still fiery and passionate and sexy. So that's good. Um, but also like that you have like a subtle sexiness where the more time that they spend with you, the more they're going to grow an attraction to you. So that's kind of interesting. It, it, it makes like this allure where people um, after they meet you can't get enough of you. So if you're needing some attention, that's fantastic. <laughs> um, what do you need to keep in mind in regards to your love life? They're saying um, that there's a little bit of an imbalance, okay? So you might be thinking like, this is what I want, this is what I want, and you're toggling back and forth instead of being focused on that middle ground or something like that, or you, you gotta pick a pole, right? You can't be like, jotting back and forth but it is it's not really your fault because it's astrology Pisces energy is going this way and this way and this way and this way and this way it's like Pisces is in fucking everything except for the moon this month so it's normal to kind of be all over the place a little bit and feel a little bit um imbalanced now for those of you who are coupled Sagittarius what do we have 
<laughs> they're saying like you might not want to talk about things related to the home, related to money, related to work, um, related to purchases. You just don't feel like it. You don't have the energy. You don't want to do this with your partner. But ultimately, here's the issue. If you don't, you don't get what you want. <laughs> and so they're saying part of you thinks like, by not bringing this stuff up, I'm not going to be crabby and I'm going to create like a more harmonious and happy environment between me and my partner, just like, you know, ignoring things and, you know, pretending like everything's wonderful. But they're like, in the longer term, it, this is so similar to what Capricorns have. You're just kicking the can down the road. It's going to be an issue you're going to have to deal with later. And the longer you wait, the worse off you're going to be. And so these are conversations that you have to have with your partner about, you know, practical things, about things like schedules, doctor's appointments, finances, buying a house or a car, you know, like um, investing money, pulling money out of a 401k, that kind of a thing. It's very important for you, um, if, whether you're going to have children or not, that sort of thing. Um, it's very, very important. I'm getting for somebody, it's really important to talk about adoption or foster care. So if that's you, um, and maybe your partner wants that or you want that, but you don't want to argue about it, you have to talk about it in the month in the month of March before the 18th, which today is the 9th, which leaves you nine days. So nine days to work up that vigor and strength to do that. Okay. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, <laughs> how is your partner perceiving you? And they're saying, yeah, that you just don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to talk about it. Um, but, you know, that you are a good communicator if forced to, that you will be honest with them. But they're like, they're just kind of perceiving that you don't want to move down this path and that you are avoiding drama. They're very tuned into your energy this month. And they're saying, though, a decision does have to be made, even if it makes you uncomfortable, even if it means your life is going to change. And even if it's something that you're not excited about making, like if it's a decision you don't want to make, you have to this month. There's just no way around it. Because if you don't, you're going to really regret not having taken the time to do that. Okay, so what is the challenge then going to be between you and your partner? And they're saying to feel happy and to know that you're on the right path. So what are some sort of signs that can help you to know that you're on the right path? And they're saying um, by focusing exclusively on you and your partner and not the opinions of other people. Okay, because somebody else is influencing kind of your thinking here. Okay, and it, it can't that can't happen because they might not be right. Who's more important, this outside energy or you, your partner? You know, so think of it that way. All right, what's going on with you emotionally or in regards to your personal growth and development in March? And they're saying you know exactly what's going on here. <laughs> They're saying intuitively you're being guided. And again, this energy of not caring about what other people have to say. You know what's right for you. And that's where you need to go with your energy. They're saying it might be hard to express love with all of these things going on in regards to your finances and your home and your schedule and your stability. And, you know, what are we bringing into our life? But, like, all these new things that are potentially coming through. But if you remain confident, um, even though you don't have new ideas, like confident in what is important to you, Things will pan out the way that they're supposed to. Now, what do you need to keep in mind? And they're saying that you really, really can manifest whatever you want into your life. This energy of abundance is very strong for you in the month of March. And it doesn't necessarily mean abundance in regards to finances, although it can. It could be an abundance of love, of luck, of time, of, you know, fun, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So if you don't have a vision board... Put all the things you want on it this month. That'd be a fun project. I actually saw, I don't, if you follow on Facebook, you might have seen, I posted an article that CNN did. It's like a video about couples who vision board together and how it makes their relationship stronger. So that's cute. Check that out. Or just Google CNN vision board couples. I don't know. Whatever you want. Um, they're saying this is a time where you do have to put the action in where you can't just wait. And that's leading up until the 22nd, although I'm still getting that message of the 18th intuitively. So maybe because sometimes when that Mercury retrograde energy hits, sometimes we start to feel those energies a few days in advance, up to a week in advance of um, when it officially flips and turns. So get on it. Um, now we're going to talk about your crystal of the month. So it's massive, right? A big old sodalite. And shipping is free, by the way, if you purchase this sodalite. 
Um, so anyway, what is it going to do for you? It's going to help you to be courageous. It's going to help you to feel more humble. It's going to increase your psychic awareness. It helps you to be of service to other people, but like clearing away blockages before you do that. So you're not foolish in the way that you do it. It's going to protect you. It's going to, um, get rid of any sort of anxiety or panic attacks. It will help you to not be hypersensitive to things, brings in more confidence, like I mentioned, harmony, um, solidarity and teamwork, which is super important if you're coupled, uh, helps kind of balance out like a lot of things with your digestion and then your lymph system. So it kind of makes you healthier in general. There's a shit ton of stuff that this stone does. Anyway, point is, you can go pick up a sodalite. If you get this one from me, it comes with a crystal uh, playlist that only Patreon subscribers have access to. So it'll tell you all the different ways that you can use this crystal to its fullest capacity, how to cleanse it, how to clear it, as well as like a printout that tells you every single thing that this is used for, the angels associated to it, you know, whether that is like a um, spiritual, emotional, or physical type of use for the crystal. So love and light, and I'll see you soon for love readings. Bye! Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!